Hey everybody, Spoonfed here. Um, and we're, today we're going to start your internet adventure. Um, we did some things on the internet already, of course. We've seen how we could download programs. We've seen how we could um, get a new browser. But today we're going to really start um, everything that will lead up to hopefully a cool quest of knowledge and Oh, basically fun. Um, the first thing you need when you want to embark on this uh, epic journey is an email address. It sounds simple, but you will use it to create accounts, uh, log into sites, correspond with your friends, um, get it to uh, engage in like social media sites, uh, loads of stuff. You need almost an email address for everything you do uh, these days. So, um, there are basically three great providers uh, of free email addresses out there which work gives you loads of space and abilities to do pretty much anything you want and those are yahoo gmail and live slash hotmail because they're the same microsoft took over hotmail um so now you have uh you can i don't know sh for sure but maybe you could still make a amazon account even like an app amazon account well, your basic email address, uh, like syntax if you want to call it, follows the rules of a front portion, which could be separated by dots, underscores, and hyphens, and then an at sign, and then whatever the domain name behind it is, which creates your email address. So you can have a at yahoo.com or an at gmail.com, which is the one from Google, or at hotmail or at live.com. So today we're going to start with uh, creating a Yahoo address and the thing is I would suggest creating two accounts so I'm just going to go to yahoo.com it will probably redirect me to, to the local page because that's what it does that's, it thinks we like that, I don't so go to your local page and you see sign up right there so click it i was talking about making two accounts uh, the reason why is you can basically have one account for your correspondence to friends and have another account for doing the logins and you know getting newsletters on that and just have basically or, or trying out new things you know you sometimes you want to try out a thing you're not really sure if it's safe or whatever just use your other account and and use two different passwords between them well uh, we're just gonna go through this form so I'm just gonna do like so like that and here you can put in bogus information or real doesn't matter um, let's see if that is there uh, you can choose between yahoo.com as an extension, ymail or rocketmail well I'm gonna go for ymail uh, I thought so I already made this video once something went wrong with the audio so I had to do it again and this was the username I used then I'm just gonna make a simple change just gonna do it like that maybe then it will that will work oh, alright uh, basically put in your password here whichever one you want uh, this is also a good option for a second email address that you can mail um, the password from this account to that one in case you ever lost it just gonna do some stupid questions here um, And there is a uh, I block these out because otherwise you could use them to get my password and take over my account if you so wished and I do not want that alright and then we're going to click create my account 
and we'll just now again you can review the information here you can write it down you can print this page um, one thing you could also do which might or not might not be as e easy um, is you can save the page as so it's just going to go here save page as and then go to just make a folder here and to make a folder um, anywhere just right click and do new and select folder now the name of the folder will be uh, HTML pages um, info going to go inside that folder and below here you can select what you want you can do only text you can do uh, only HTML or you can do the complete thing which has the uh, pictures and buttons and CSS and all things uh, complete is fine with me and we'll call this Yahoo meal and basically if you save that you save this entire page with all the information in it so you have it on your computer. Eh, it might not be that safe because someone taking over your computer could easily look into that and see these answers to these questions and maybe take over your account. But, uh, uh, or you can just print it out later on your own time and delete it then. So uh, we're going to experience Yahoo right now. I'm going to do continue. And one thing we're going to do right now, because this has a bunch of loads of information, you can do stuff here, and we're just going to click mail. And then this is the interface for your email. And there are loads of stuff here on the left, which I will explain in future videos, uh, going into depth on in these email uh, addresses, how you can use them, what you can do with them. But for now, you only need to know your own address. Which and this is the start. You can look at them or whatever you want. But this is your address, which you, which you created. Um, for people wanting to spam me, you can send any email to this one. I don't mind at all, because I won't probably won't read it. So uh, yeah, so this is your email account. You just create an email account and. The, these will be the messages here. You can close them if you want. You can just close them like that. Um, you can read on the updates. Uh, basically, you, this is something we're going to do later on. These icons here will be uh, useful later on when we embark on the social media adventure. So, uh, this is it for creating a email address. And uh, stick around. Uh, I'll, oh, I'll put two links in the description of this uh, video for creating a Gmail and a live slash Yahoo account. Or uh, live slash Hotmail account, I mean. So, um, yeah, have fun with your new email address, and I'll see you next time.